good morning everyone my name is pradyumna and in this class i will explain you all about glonass which was developed by russia in my first video i spoke about gps and in the second and third video i spoke about gps architecture with the help of those three videos you can write the difference between gps and glonass in this video i will only talk about glonass so let's get started as the name glonass stands for global navigation satellite system and in some books i have read it as global orbiting navigation satellite system glonass is one of the satellite based navigation system established by russia to determine the global positioning of an object i will try to compare glonass with gps simultaneously in this video so that it can help you all even if you have not watched the previous videos so here you can see glonass was developed by russia whereas gps was developed by usa to determine the global positioning of an object now coming to the second point it was originally started by soviet union in 1976 and first launch took place in 1982 whereas in gps the launch year was 1978 glonass was fully functional in the year 1995 glonass system consists of three circular orbits and eight satellites that means in in each orbit there are eight satellites whereas in gps there are six orbits and 24 satellites each orbit is inclined at an angle 64 dig 64.8 degrees with respect to equator whereas coming to gps it is 55 degrees the inclination is 55 degrees and the radius of each orbit is 25510 kilometers from the center of mass of the earth not from the surface but from the center of mass of the earth and coming to gps it is 26600 kilometers from center of mass of the earth the red ink denotes gps so please don't get confused i have just written it so that you can differentiate between gps and glonass easily so let's move on to the sixth point i'll erase the board so please pause the video and copy these five points orbital period is 11.16 sidereal hours it means 11 hours and 16 minutes whereas in gps it takes 12 sidereal hours the orbital period is 12 sidereal hours coming to the next point 
Glona satellite completes 16 revolutions around the earth in every 8 in every 8 sidereal days uh, let me write this with black every 8 sidereal days glona satellites transmit microwave signals to users on or near the earth surface to find out the position time and velocity here users means receivers coming to the next point uses fdm scheme fdm stands for frequency division multiplexing scheme to transmit signals to transmit signals to the users or receivers whatever you can call and the next point is two L band carrier signals it uses these two L band carrier signals which are called L1 and L2 these are the two carrier signals if you like this video please share like and do subscribe to my channel and i'll make the next video on satellite constellation thank you and have a great day